What's poppin' big headed family? It's your boy Big Gotti and I am back with another one. Look, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Cause it lets you know when I drop. Now look, shout out to my nigga Max man. Right now my nigga just blew some motherfucking alien OG, bro. That motherfucking shit was on a whole another. You feel me? But anyways, nigga. Shout out to the big headed fam also for sending this one in to me. Basically, uh they was talking about the way females was dressed and that type of shit. So we're going to run through this together. And y'all let me know what y'all think about the content in the comment section, man. Let's get it. So a lot of times women have ego just because men have to create their ego. There's a lot of things that come with ego as well, though. Because, you know, as a woman, yeah, there are women who are born sexy as fuck. You know, we have advantages for being pretty. And then I talk those. about it all the time. I, I've had many that's advantages for being pretty. Yeah. Like, it never stops. Low key. Wait, that's, that's sexist. For being pretty yeah, that's, that's no right. see what yeah, i did there yeah he got you sure uh <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah, nothing about sex is the one that benefits her right no, here's my point i didn't finish my sentence when you pretty and you like that when you pretty you're in danger yeah mm. when you're pretty like men feel like all right you dress like that i could touch you i could slap your ass because you look mm -hmm. like that i could do this because you look like that are you ready mm -hmm. to fuck to get she said men but certain men be wanting to do weirdo shit not all men is like that though to this level like you are approached differently from a man with Question that ego for you. who chose the clothing it's not why does that matter? matter? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Because we gotta have a, no, no, no. Because we gotta have a little bit of accountability here, ladies. Okay. So you nah, but a girl should be able to wear whatever the fuck she want. Nigga shouldn't be able to touch on a girl just because she wearing this and that. That's weird as fuck. What the fuck he saying? You saying if I'm dressed in shorts, it gives you. If I'm Hell if I'm yeah, in a bikini, yeah. I'm at a pool party. Uh -huh. I'm in a bikini. I'm rolling yep. up. Yep. Right. I'm talking to my homegirl. Boom. Nigga just come behind me, slap my ass. Yep. He's in the right. I never yeah. said that. But what I, I chose saying, to wear, I chose to wear a bikini instead of shorts. Okay. Yeah, do you live in reality? That's some weirdo. Because yes. I do. I don't operate on what should, could, or would. I operate on what is. I'm telling you I what know, happened to me. I know. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. What is, is that there's a lot of pieces of shit out there. What is, mm -hmm. is that there's a lot of bad people out there. What is, is there's a lot of sexual predators out there that are willing to take opportunities and that present themselves. So what I'm saying is that you got to operate on what is. You can't control the world and you can't control the weirdos out there. So if you, the one of the few things you do control is how you dress, how the world perceives you, being safe, etc. So this is why men don't like their girl dressing in a certain way because men know these these threats. Men Ooh. have to accept reality. Men have to accept danger, etc. Yeah. So a lot of times when a guy's telling you, yo, I don't like you being dressed like that, yeah. nine out of ten times what you're trying to argue with them, oh, I don't want to change and asking yep. him for a dumbass. Facts though, because a lot of dudes be thinking pervert ass thoughts, you feel me? And a lot of other guys know that. That's why they don't want the girls going outside dressed like that. That's facts though. Last explanation. Listen, I'm telling you not to do this because I know the dark side of the world because yeah, men have to experience these things. They know what men are capable of. Yeah. So when a guy tells you that instead of you arguing with him, that's where they're typically coming from. So even though what that guy did is reprehensible, he shouldn't be touching women that he doesn't know, nah. we got to operate on reality. That's what happens when you sexualize yourself. When a man sexualizes a woman, nine out of ten times that woman sexualized herself. And women got to bear some responsibility for sexualizing themselves to yeah. some degree. Because the world is a cold place and it doesn't owe you understanding. Uh, so if you want to dress like a hoe, hold on. Mm -mm. If you want to dress like a hoe, be prepared for idiots out there no, no. to treat you like a hoe. Even though you shouldn't be treated that way. Mm. But hey, they're going to go off a hoe uniform, aren't they? No, I don't want to destroy no. my body a big t-shirt and some fat ass boy shorts. Oh, like, there you go. <laughs> What? Like, and niggas are still try to get at you. Exactly. And a nigga is still sexual as you. Like, a lot of times, no. Right, it I have never a question matters for you. what yes. you wear. If you wear a condom and, and you have sex with a girl, is it a 100% chance that you aren't going to get her pregnant? Hell yeah, 100% chance that you're not going to get pregnant. No, no, pregnant. no, it's, no it's more like 99 point something, right? Like 99.99. 99. So, 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 but. With the condom on, though. But, yeah. <laughs> It could pop. It could pop. It could be too tight and it'd be coming in. Ladies, you're reading a little bit too much into it. The point, the point of the exercise is to tell you that you, sometimes you got to mitigate risk. So you're. So basically, uh, yeah, shouts out to the big headed fan for saying this to me. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, I feel like if a girl's dressed a certain way, yeah, you know what I'm saying? A dude is going to look at her a certain way and be, you know what I'm saying, trying to sexualize her. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Until the next one, y'all stay safe out there, man.